You too, what's going on? Kyle again from ePool Supply. We've got some quick fix videos for you guys on Hayward's Aquanaut 400 suction side pool cleaner. We are going to tear this thing apart from the outside in. Stay tuned. guys and we're back so again we've got some quick fix videos for you guys on Hayward's Aquanaut 400 this is their four wheel cleaner this will also work for their 450 that's a uh, a trade uh, expert line from Hayward so that's something you guys got to purchase from a brick and mortar store but if you do have a 400 this is uh, the same fix for you guys as you guys can tell I've got the cleaner stripped down to pretty much the basics here if you guys want to know how to get here check out the links in the description we've got a playlist there where you can actually walk through from the outside in on this cleaner to get where we are right now. So for today's video, I wanna show you guys how to actually remove the steering bracket. The steering bracket is one of the main brains of this actual cleaner, aside from the engine, which is your vein, um, your vein hub kit that they have here. But uh, essentially the bracket, the steering bracket is going to be located on the side where your large cam gear is. So essentially what it does is as the cleaner's rolling around, this is rotating and it's also driving the cam, which then ultimately will allow the cleaner to start changing different directions. So this is important. So if something's just spinning or if it's not moving at all, definitely start with these front axles because this is one of your main drive trains of the actual cleaner. So there's two parts. You got one on, um, this is my left and then the right. So for you guys, if you're looking at it, it will be the right side that you're steering on because these will be your rear, wheel, rear wheels. So once you guys have taken off that top shroud, which you will need to do to get this, um, you're just gonna kind of gently push on the, uh, the axle here and slide it out. And you guys will see you'll get your entire steering bracket here. So it has that full, um, it's got some uh, springs here located and it's got your actual steering bracket as long, along with the axle. So you guys will notice that the axle has two different parts. You've got one longer part and one smaller part. The smaller part's what's always gonna come in and connect to this other steering gear that you have here in the front. And then obviously your longer part will be the part that sticks out and actually grabs the inside of the wheel hub. So really simple, uh, if you need to, you can kind of pinch your fingers in and this bottom part kind of will retract a little bit because obviously when it's in there, the springs are fully extended. So then when you push, it'll actually retract the springs a little bit to allow movement, excuse me, to slide that out. So once you guys get it out, simply grab the new one, slide it back in, make sure everything is lined up and all the gears are able to grab. One way you can do that is after you've slid it in and get everything hooked back up. Again, be gentle when you're dealing with these springs because you don't want to watch these things go launching into your pool. So always suggest doing this over on a flat surface like I do right here on the table. But once you've inserted it, one way to make sure that everything's operating co correctly is to grab each side of the axle tube and spin it. So as long as everything's spinning correctly, then it will eventually hit the cam, which will then make the cleaner change direction. So it is a different space. Again, we're gonna have another video on the cam so you guys can check that out and how to remove that. But there are different spacings on how long it will run before it decides to change directions or um, you know, change its clearing path on your, uh, on your pool surface. So I really appreciate you guys watching again, check out all those links in the description to purchase this directly from our website, as well as that playlist that will show you guys how to tear this cleaner apart. Be sure to like the video and make sure to subscribe. We're going to have a ton more videos coming your way. Until next time, I'm Kyle from ePoolSpot. Thank you.